Hey, what's up guys? I'm Bright Torn and welcome back to Solar's First Contact. So the first thing we're going to be doing in today's episode is we need to build some stuff on Grok Citadel. I've taken care of all the other planets, but uh, here we got some, some special stuff I'd like to do uh, because we have two buildings to really improve on our science research, which of course is what this uh, planet is focused on. So we've got the Voltum Reality Computer. Uh, so that'll produce a lot more science. And it looks like we'll get 11 of each science. We're also going to get more Unity and a little bit more amenities. And the physics research from all researchers is going to go up. So I don't think that's accounting for that. It might be. I don't think so, guys. I think it's actually going to produce a lot more than that. And then there's also the, the Research Institute as well. And this is probably the one we should get first. Since this is going to boost all research output. So yeah, let's go into the Research Institute. And then we need to replace something to get that other one, because we've already filled out the planets. And I think we're going to replace the energy grid. Now, this is really helping us because we have all these generator districts. However, and I think I mentioned this, if we restore this planet to its former glory, then that's going to remove all of these anyways. So just showing you guys what I'm talking about if you don't remember when we looked at this last time. We still need 20,000 minerals to do that, and there's a tech we don't have, the anti-gravity engineering. So we can't do that yet. But we should plan for it. And we could also do this planetary prospecting. I almost feel like we should wait because you only do it once. And I imagine it would have something different if we went with this one. So yeah, I probably should wait to do that for this particular planet. But yeah, uh, I did want to, to take a look at that. And did we ever level up any of our planets yet? I think we were waiting to do that because we're, yeah, we're trying to get some of this filled out. Okay, so I won't do that yet either. All right, so we're going to be doing this battle here. I think we actually need to do, oh, there they go. I was going to say we need to assign them to attack that, but they've got that taken care of. And we got control of the system allowing us to now go over here and build this starbase outpost. That does mean there's some debris there to be researched. So as soon as that science ship is done over there, we'll want them to come over here next. Uh, while this uh, fleet is going to come over here. Debris and speaking of fleets, if this fleet here, where are they at? They clearly haven't arrived yet. They're, okay. They're over here. So we're not upgrading them yet. Because we're going to wait to do all that. So what we can do is go ahead and have them do the, uh, it's this one here. Although, can't get it selected. There we go. So we're going to have them do the conduct fleet maneuvers. We'll see if that works, guys. We also analyze that debris. All right, excellent. Although I don't know which one that was. That was down here. Okay, so this science ship here is going to go do the, the LN probe. So we'll get them taken care of that. We have plenty of stuff for our construction ships and our science ships to do right now. So come over here and research that project for us. I guess we got stuff for our fleets to do too. So lots of exciting things happening here, guys. Um, so we need to finish with the research for the hypercoms forum. So the next thing we want to get, I could do a, another starbase capacity increase. That'd be help, uh, helpful. Uh, this would also be great. The Xeno relations, it not only increases your diplomatic ways, but allows you get that grand embassy complex and the orbital embassy complex, so you can get more envoys, which is something we really severely lack in this playthrough. So we're going to do that one, because yeah, we don't have hardly any envoys. We do actually have one available that we can make use of, though. Um, so where are the, the current envoys being used? All right, so we have one down here. That's right. So we should probably go after... These guys next. Build a spy network here. We'll start working on that. And once we finish up this battle here, then I'll turn off the uh, all the things that's using the moats and the gases and stuff, so we're no longer depleting our stockpiles. So they've re returned over to here, and I've actually changed up what we're doing here. Uh, this is we're going to keep this one. Uh, as you can see, we're, we're back down to the starbase capacity. We're going to keep this one and build that black hole observatory and also a trade boat. This is probably going to be like a trading center, is what I'm thinking. I don't know if there's a lot of trade here to get. This will probably produce some. So if I got rid of this station here, as of right now, I've got them sticking around, just replacing the shipyards, because frankly, we don't need shipyards there. Now we have added this to our empire, so let's go ahead and uh, build out those mining stations. And because we're a patron, 
they will sometimes give us stuff. I think they're more likely to give it to you if uh, sometimes they'll ask for like additional funding. And if you, through their like newsletter, and if you give it to them, I think you're more likely to get this stuff. Uh, but yeah, they're just going to give you some free stuff. It's never very much though. But uh, you can instead say, we will repair it for you. And then instead we'll get uh, influence. And 500 minerals isn't much, so we'll just get the influence, guys. So it's useful to get those. And I think you only, I think you only get them if you're a patron. All right, so these guys have finished up over here. So let's have them add the research stations and the uh, mining station here before they go over and get that next location. And our admiral leveled up, got the scout trait. Wonder which one this is. Okay, so this one here. All right, so. Uh, he's leveled up and is currently doing battle with these mining drones. Or about to. So watch that. Beautiful light show here. Oh, we got the orbital ring. All right, excellent. So we'll have to go take a look at that in a minute. Let's get this battle finished first. And so yeah, a little bit more difficult battle against the mining drones here, but still not too challenging. We did lose one destroyer. What we uh, destroyed everything they had here. And so, I suppose, we just want them to reinforce and then go back home and repair. Yeah, they'll go back there, and that's that's fine for them to be out for now, I suppose. Though I guess there's not really any reason to be over on this side. What is our relationship with these guys here? They're receptive. Hmm. We already got an embassy with them. We've got a decent star base here, though. I hate that they're all gun batteries. We'll put like a, a hangar bay here or something. I don't know how I feel about the torpedo batteries because, like, they would have to be really close for you to use those. And the bigger ships don't generally get closer to you, which is what the torpedoes are useful for. They're going to stay back and fire at you from far. They don't have to, but typically that's what they're designed to do. And so the torpedoes, you know, it's a star base, so it can't get closer to them. So we'll just get two hangar bays instead. And yeah, we don't really need a shipyard here, at least not now. And we might want to get some defense platforms eventually. I also built up the defense platforms here again. So we got them back up. Clearly we're gonna need more there as we've seen this was not strong enough station here to resist our enemies. All right, so we've got this construction ship done here because they just finished up with the ring world. Or not ring world, but the orbital what's it called like orbital ring yeah orbital ring a ring world is something different but yeah that's around our home planet looks pretty cool and this is like an addition to the star base you know you can build these modules and buildings here and these are like some of them are the same but there's also unique ones here some of which we might have researched and didn't have available uh we're probably gonna need to upgrade to be able to see these buildings here because yeah, i don't want to see those but we don't have the uh the alloys Always short on alloys, guys. Uh, but yeah, you can get a, a shipyard here. I mean, you can get all the stuff that you can get on your star bases, increasing your defense here. But this is generally not what it's good at. What you really want is those buildings. So we might just want to get the the anchorage because I don't I don't think anybody's been attacking Orkland. I mean, it's not really. <laughs> We don't even have this set up for defense at all, do we? Let me just take a look at the star base here. Uh, what we currently got them having. They have these, but that was mainly to protect. Yeah, it's mainly just a shipyard here. Let me see if there's anything we might want to adjust here. To change up. Yeah, they're not a trading post. I think the trading post is here. In Black Mountain. So it's not really a trading post. But yeah, it's not really... Heavily set up for defense either. You can see it's not the strongest. I just don't think it's necessary. So probably just get the naval capacity, even though I don't really need it. Could also just wait as well and build something there later, since all that does cost alloys. Yeah, maybe we'll just wait. Uh, we do need to set these guys up to do something, though. Now that they finish that up, uh, let's go ahead and have them build the other way with the hyper relays. Since we know we're going to want these over here as well and going up. So yeah, we'll get... One built there. And then maybe have them come over this way next. Kind of fill out this a little bit. If we can, again, we're gonna find these these alloys continually being an issue for us. Uh, one of our scientists is leveled up. Okay, excellent. All right, so he's going, returning home 
and he's going over here. So we just need to keep all of our ships working. I think we might have far too many of these construction ships at this point just because we won't have the alloys to keep them all going. But we'll see. As of right now, they're all working hard. So we, we'll see if we can keep them going. Uh, and then the science ship's finished over here. All right, excellent. So we need to do the debris over here next and then survey the system. So we can get that added to our empire. And this construction ship is done over here. And remember, he's just adding these hyper relays down this way. And I suppose we'd go right there. I don't know if we'll go into this one. Probably not. Probably just up to this one. These do have a cost. I don't want to build them everywhere. And our scientists gained a trait. Which one? Okay. That's going to help a little bit for those particular tasks, but not the one I would have preferred that he got. You see, we have a severe lack of geniuses. <laughs> In our uh, among our among our science community, the orc science community, it's just not their their specialty. Did fully repair that fleet. Right, excellent. And there's nothing else for the the fleets to do currently. All right, so he finished this. And again, I'm not seeing anything happen. Maybe maybe nothing's supposed to happen. I mean, perhaps it's just so you don't take the penalty there, but. I don't know, it feels like you should get some from it. I don't know, we'll see if anything fires, but that's that's what I experienced before. I didn't get anything out of it. Again, maybe it's not broken, it's working as designed, it's not supposed to give anything. I don't know, it just seems like it should. Alright, so these guys here are done. So they'll get that one, because that would require us to go all the way around. So I guess go ahead and repair to grab this system. Yeah, that'd be the next thing I want to do here. Construction complete. And they finished up getting the goodies I put on here. All right, excellent. So that'll get us some more research. And uh, we do have a tradition available, finally. Good God, that took us forever. Also, this starbase is finished up with the adjustments we made here. There's more stuff we can do here. We're not going to spend the alloys on that at this moment. Uh, let's go ahead and finally get the last one in domination. Uh, ruler level cap plus two, edicts fund plus 50, that'll be really helpful because I think we're well past our edicts fund. And then we'll get the finisher for domination, which is empire size from pops reduced. That's super great because, yeah, we're uh, way over our cap here, and pops are most of it. <laughs> A pretty good chunk of it, guys. So, yeah, that'd be pretty helpful. And then, of course, we also get the next uh, perk. So, let's go knock that out and we'll see what perks are available. We're at the point where we might not have all the text for the ones I want. There's a point where you typically have to wait on getting the perks. Because hey, you only get so many. You know, you only get eight total. And there's some of them it's like you have to get. So you have to get one of the three. You don't have to, but you want to get. So you pretty much always want to get one of these four here. Which we, we're going to do this one. Engineered Evolution. We can't get it because we don't have the gene tailor in tech yet, which is so frustrating that we haven't gotten that. It, we're in the mid game at this point, guys. When we cross into to 2300, we uh, we went into the mid game and we still don't have some really important techs, ones that were kind of pretty critical for the way I wanted to play play this campaign. I wanted to make like a lot of adjustments to all of our species, all of our slave pops, so we can make them better. Make them, you know, I, I would hesitate to use the word better. Make them better at what we want them to do. Uh, they might actually be worse in some ways. Uh, maybe they'll they'll be worse uh, intentionally for roleplay purposes. But yeah, you can't do any of that. We haven't got to mess with our, our species at all because we haven't gotten that tech. And that's one of the unfortunate parts about the, the random uh, tech system. It's it's fun. It, it results in you know a very different campaign every time and, and tech's kind of out of your hands rather than being able to beeline to certain techs. So there are advantages to the tech system, but sometimes when certain techs are like critically important to certain playthroughs and then they don't become available well into the game, it's pretty frustrating. Uh, and that's obviously been the case here, of course, because it's a Let's Play, so it couldn't have gone any other way. Uh, but yeah, we don't have uh, that tech yet, and we should have had it a long time ago. I don't know why it hasn't come, become available to us. Uh, but that's one. Um, then the ones for, you, you gotta get the Colossus Project, so that's two that you gotta get. Don't have to have this one here, this one here. That one's helpful for mega structures, but this is the other one that I feel like you always gotta get. 
or I always like to get. So that's three. And then if we wanted to do, you know, we talked about it. Some people are going to be interested in that. I've never done this route to become the crisis route. If we want to do that, that's four. I don't want to do it yet. Uh, but that's four. And then I feel like you got to get something to kind of help you with the end game crisis is, you know, either that or, you know, the, the fallen empires when they awaken. So, yeah, I don't think we should get anything here, guys. Because remember, you can't change these. There's no changing them once you select them. So because of the lack of tech, particularly this one here, uh, but these other ones, these are ones that don't generally come available until much later. Anyways, this is all late game stuff. Uh, it's the only one that's really been locked to us because we haven't been getting techs we're supposed to is that one. We should have had it by now. Uh, but yeah, I feel like we shouldn't get anything here. I think we're just going to leave it available, guys. Just leave it up there. Uh, cause yeah, I don't think it'd be wise to, to pick anything because I think all the ones I want are, are uh, I think all the slots are, are pretty much taken. Uh, so yeah, we won't select anything there. Make sure we got all of our guys doing stuff. But yeah, we finished up that tradition. So you see their empire sizes decrease. That made technology and future traditions are going to be cheaper. So pretty helpful for us. And that resolution did pass. All right, so we can take a look at what the next resolution is. It is that security contractors, which is not really only helpful to us. We might oppose this one to get something else to tick up the top. I'd really like the Galactic Council up there, so that'll get that up there. So yeah, this is the one we want. Because we would be, well, we have, we're in the number one place at this point. But yeah, we'd definitely be on the, the Galactic Council, give us some control over what's going on in the galaxy. So yeah, I feel like we have to, to get that one knocked out. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this system now. If I can click on the damn thing. So we'll grab that crappy system. Yeah, there's just nothing here. It's all that impressive, but we'll get it anyway. Looks weird without it. And finished up over here with the stuff on this starbase. Probably need to increase the size some, but obviously again, alloys is a problem. Uh, we did finish up a special project. That's the one that we did over here. So the uh, the probing of the aliens. Uh, so the ISS Elsom the Slided has finished its scientific mission to Daltari. Sweeping in low over the ground at night, shuttles from the science ship use EMP pulses to disable the archaic combustion vehicles used by the pre-FTLs. Their occupants were then sedated and collected, while other away teams acquired samples by dissecting some of the local cattle. Our mission appears to have gone largely unnoticed by the planet's population, despite a few reports of unexplained lights, an incident where one of the shuttle crews deliberately used their thrusters to create circular patterns in a crop field. They have been reprimand, reprimanded. And so all kind of a play off of you know, UFOs and you know, here on Earth and stuff. And what you know, we speculate they do or whatever it is. Uh, so we got uh, a whole bunch of society research. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, but we did increase their awareness a little bit because of the crop circles, apparently. All right, so let me just take a look at them here. So they're still in the industrial age. And... Could further indoctrinate them. I think that's unnecessary. I think we're just going to wait to infiltrate them. Could also just land on there. But again, I don't really need more planets. And especially with us not being able to like, make any adjustments to them or anything like that. So we still don't have that one tech. Well, you see, awareness is still pretty low. Very much ignorant of us. But yeah, we're just waiting for them to advance through these ages. And hopefully in the next one, they don't destroy themselves. Uh -huh. So we did get that debris analyzed as well. So basically, both of our science ships... Might be available. Maybe I already assigned, already assigned him to scan that system. All right, so is there anything else for the science ships to do or can they return back to assisting research? I wanna say that's it. We'll take a look at the situation log real quick. Just make sure I didn't miss anything. We never finished that. We didn't survey very many worlds because we didn't get to scan that much. Uh, there is the Sentinel. Oh yes, that's right, I forgot about this. Uh, is this the guy that we want to do it? They might have different traits. So, if we have him do it, he's going to be slower. Or her, excuse me. Uh, she'll be slower doing it. So what about this other scientist who's actually in the area? Probably have her do it. Makes more sense. And she's level four. Yeah, so is she. So I think it makes sense for her to go back home. Or go back to the Citadel. And it's this research. Just get us more, more science. Uh, we also have a construction ship. Sitting over here. Oh yes, that's right. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get Hyper Relay built over here. 
Yeah, you can see how it's thicker, and so that's how you tell that you built those hyper relay systems through here. Uh, it won't have that little icon. I think it only has the icon if it's not connected to the network. So we built the first one, it was there. I think as long as it's like connected, or not even to the network, just connected to another system. I don't think you have it then in that case. And yeah, we still can't activate these relics. Of course, this one's really only useful, if we, you know, at war. Uh, this one, you know, getting more pops. I, I just feel almost like we should really focus on getting the traditions at this point, guys, because yeah, we're moving pretty slow through this. Pretty slow, because again, that's not it's not the focus of our empire. It's not surprising that it moves so slow. All right, so we can't grab the system yet because we're not done scanning it, but uh, we'll move them over there in preparation for doing it. And we got the Xeno relation tech, so that's more diplomatic weights, increasing our strength there, but most importantly, get us that grand embassy complex. And uh, this is also the orbital, orbital embassy complex. So that one's the one that will be built in the, the ring. Uh, so we need to upgrade that so we can get the buildings. So for the next tech, probably the doctrine reactive formations is what I'm thinking. Yeah, we'll get that one. So we'll get that knocked out, uh, but we need to, we'll go to Orc Prime here. We have a, a building slot open, though we have a, a real lack of pops here, probably because it's Tomb World. We have all this stuff we could, you know, upgrade, but what's the point? Like, you don't have any, uh, any pops to work them, I guess. Some of them just give nice bonuses. So like, we might want to do, where's the gene clinics here so that we can grow faster. Oh, we don't have the upgrade for the gene clinics. We might get rid of these ones here because there's so much stuff to build on the home planet. So that's the reason why I'm not upgrading some of this because we're just not going to want to. And this is just more researcher jobs that we can't fill. So unless it gives like a straight bonus outside of just more jobs, there's no reason to do it. Oh, we've already got the embassy complex. I didn't realize that. This is an upgrade for it. Okay, so yeah, we'll definitely want to do that. So upgrade that, because now yeah, that's immediately helpful. But things like that that are, are helpful. You know, this is another one that would be, because you get more alloys. But uh, I don't know if we're going to keep this on here. Because there's so much other stuff to get. We'll definitely keep this one. But yeah, again, it's it's just more jobs. So it doesn't immediately helpful uh, help us. Yeah, there's really no reason to upgrade most of these. And we just don't have the pops there. Maybe we should move some from somewhere else. All right, so they've returned home. They're over here as well. Might want to move them over this way. It's like Rhea Laura. I suppose we're going to war with them next. We still got to improve. So yeah, I should keep them on a star base. We got to improve a whole fleet as soon as we get that technology done for the battleships, which will happen one month, guys. One month, we'll get that done. All right, so just keeping all our people working over here. We'll probably get rid of some of those construction ships soon. And we've met the Scrappers. Okay, so when you first meet them, they give you a bunch of alloys. That's perfect timing. I think it's when you get the battleships, actually. Because, yeah, it seems like they only contact you when you get the battleships. Uh, but, yeah, they give you those those alloys. I guess that's to help you build them. Uh, but, yeah, these guys can be somewhat useful. I'll show you what, what they do. So they can scrap ships for you. And when they scrap them, then they can sell them to other empires. And other empires that scrap ships, you can reclaim them and, and buy them. Um, so yeah, if we wanted to like scrap a fleet. But yeah, this is not something we want to do. I didn't want to show the other thing, the reclaiming vessels. And so you can buy the different vessels that have been scrapped with energy and so it's great in a way because you get you know the the ship with using energy rather than alloys and so yeah it can be useful you can see who, you, who your person is from but the design you get is based on their design so it could be really crappy and you might have to completely upgrade everything in it and in which case i don't know how much money you're saving but uh or you know if you're saving alloys on that or not but it can be useful uh, but yeah let's go ahead and get another tech selected since we got that battleship tech, and we're gonna want to get those battleships designed and built. And I don't know if we're the first ones to get battleship, but let's hope so. All right, so I guess the next thing I get would be better armor. Let's remember that's what our ships mostly use. 
So it'd be wise to get that. Uh, so yeah, go, on, go into the ship designer and take a look at these battleships here. So, much larger. You have the three different uh, parts to them, and we can't get it yet. Hmm. That's a shame. Okay, so we'll have to wait to design that, because I'm not even bother. I don't want to change it up and have to pay to change it up. So we can get our uh, carrier battleship, because we'll have two battleships. We're going to have like an artillery-style battleship that's going to have the big X-level guns, the extra-large guns. And you see we don't have those uh, available to us to even put on the battleship, because we don't have anything that would be put in there. And so that's the reason why. And so we'll have one that's going to have the big extra large guns, extremely powerful. And then the other battleship will be a carrier battleship. So since we don't have the extra large guns, we can't design that one, but we can design our carrier battleship. So let's go ahead and do that, and this is going to really focus on the hangar locations. I find that battleships can do this pretty good. Uh, you have different choices here. The hangar core is going to give you the medium, while the carrier core is going to give you that point defense and the small. We'll do the uh, carrier core. And then we're over here, we'll probably want a large gun, yeah. Although, yeah, you know what? We need to do this one so we can get the, the three slots down there. So this uh, battleship will not have any large guns. That's okay, it can still do a lot of damage, uh, do these these hangers. It's not what I would want my first carrier, to, or my first uh, battleship to be. I want it to be like the big artillery one. And, and we can still design that and just change it up, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could. Uh, yeah, let's go and put these strike craft in there. And then we're only using the rail guns as of right now. We need to get some different types of guns. Because uh, we just have the rail guns currently. And then the uh, point defense will do like two point defense and two flat cannons. Spread them out where they're on the ship, I suppose. And then uh, we're doing the shields. And you know what? We're going to do exact shield armor uh, situation here. Because these battleships, we want to keep these things alive. They're very expensive. And so with this one, we actually will have it, uh, you know, three three shield, three armor. Uh, we're also going to keep them on auto upgrade because we always want our battleships to, to auto upgrade, even if it's a, an unnecessary reactor. You know, I didn't think about the fact that we need to get some missiles in here. Uh, we didn't see those because of the fact that I was clicked on the medium ones. But yeah, we got to be on the small for the missiles. Uh, so yeah, we're going to put missiles in these two locations here. So we need a name for this. I didn't come up with any for the, the battleships just yet. So we need a name, you can feel free to provide some suggestions down in the comments. And we'll need two names, because we'll need a, a name for this carrier battleship, and then we'll also need a name for our other battleship. Um, so these things are really slow. So if we don't want them slowing down the entire fleet too much, then we're gonna need to put two of these afterburners in here. We need the next level of afterburners, because these are just too damn slow. Uh, yeah, this is really gonna slow the fleet down quite a bit. So we're gonna put two of those, but we still want the regenerative whole tissue as well. Uh, so it's unfortunate that they are so slow because I'd like to get the auxiliary fire control or something else in there. Oh uh, yeah, let's go and save this. So that's going to be our first battleship design. And then we're going to take it and create a new one. So just randomize the name here uh, until we get some, some name suggestions. And then this one is going to be an artillery focused one. Again, we'll, we'll have the, the extra large slot here later. But for now, probably just going to put a bunch of large slots on here. Um, so we'll want this one here so we can get that third auxiliary slot. So then we'll do the, the three large slots here. So we don't have any of the special large guns either. So it's all rail guns here. Again, it's not very exciting designs. We don't really have a, a good setup. Oh, you know, I guess we got to put them here as well. It's just all rail guns, guys. Uh, we need we need more uh, different types of, of uh, guns. We need to start researching different types of guns. Yeah, we don't really have much uh, much available to us in the ship designer right now. Uh, and then we'll get the the afterburners here. Speed it up. All right, so we need names for this one as well. This is the artillery one. Again, we'll have that really big guns once we get the tech. Which now that we have the battleship tech, that should become available eventually. All right, so I've already upgraded all the other ships with the missiles and anything else that we got. It's not a torpedo boat, obviously. We're not using those, so it's not upgraded or anything. Yeah, upgraded everything. Also got the, uh, the missiles upgraded here on the defense platform. 
So we do need to upgrade that defense platform, but that really shouldn't be our, our priority. Our priority should be the, the battleships. Let's get these added to our fleet. Um, so let's go ahead and add a new design into this one here. And we'll get each of the battleships. And you can see how expensive these are. So we'll get one of each and then add those. And we'll have to do that later with this one uh, as well. I mean, we could do it. We just won't be able to uh, actually get them into the, into the fleet. I suppose we could just do one for each fleet, but yeah, we're not going to. <laughs> Let's go and reinforce and then we'll also upgrade. And then with this one, you know, they need to upgrade too. We don't have a lot of money, but we'll upgrade a lot of alloys. I mean, we'll upgrade what we can. And then we can go and add those battleships in, even if we can't get them yet. All right, so it looks good. Getting battleships for the first time added to our uh, fleets. We'll have to get them all updated as well. And you'll see that fleet strength is going to increase significantly here, guys. So yeah, we're like 23 and 22,000, but that's going to get a lot higher. All right, so these guys can now add the outpost here. Uh, the science ship has nothing else to do, I don't believe. So they'll go to Orc Prime now and assist research. All right, so we'll get our research back up to where it was. Construction complete. And we need to add in the mining stations. And after he's done, I think we'll delete him. We got a lot of construction ships around here. Uh, now we need to do the, we, have, we don't have any alloys. So we'll go here. Although I'm hesitant to do that because I, I need to see the, the red here. I guess if we just went in and then went right here so that it, they'd still be red. So I know that they're needing the assignment. Yeah, alloy is going to be a big issue for us. We could try and sell some stuff, I suppose. Yeah, let's sell some food. We'll sell some minerals as well. And we're actually even selling consumer goods too. This is most consumer goods we've ever sold. So get rid of some of that. And that'll get us a little bit of energy to buy alloys, but yeah, it's still gonna be pretty short here. Let me just take a look. Were they able to, yeah, they're fully upgrading. So we can get one battleship going over here. We won't be able to do the other one just yet. And then I did want to upgrade that one missile location and I think we had those here too don't we? No we never built them here. Embryo Lower. I thought we did but maybe we just didn't need them. That might be the only location that has has any of those. Alright so we're just getting everything upgraded. Getting those battleships constructed. Also Black Mountain now has a new holding or they're constructing one the Temple of Prosperity. Works are going to be getting super religious man. <laughs> Building those everywhere. Uh, so he can do this now that we have some alloys do the hyper relay station there and now need to do the mining stations here all right so we'll get those constructed that's going to get us with rare crystals minerals and energy uh, this guy here now that he's done we're just going to get rid of him just because while it would be nice to have you know a bunch of construction ships more than the two we already have doing the hyper relays everywhere you know it's just not uh, practical with the the alloy concerns all right so this is about the uh, Daltari uh, the location with the pre FTL several of our abduction teams stationed on the observation post above Daltari have apparently been using the thrusters of their shuttles to burn large cities and complex patterns into crop fields belonging to the pre FTL uh, Bessadons that are indigenous to the planet the shuttle crews have been uh, severely reprimanded for this prank that we already did that and are clearly not learning. Uh, but the natives appear to be convinced that the crop circles have some mathematical meaning. A new scientific movement has developed to study the patterns and is gaining popularity among the Bessadons at an alarming rate. So basically it's changing up their ethics. They're becoming more materialist. All right. And also it increased the awareness as you'd expect. So they're still ignorant. Awareness is now 24. It's Our getting higher. Have been made All right, so we got the fleet upgraded. So not a huge change here in the fleet strength. I guess we only like added the missiles and stuff. And and mainly what we got was they're faster now uh, because they have the better hyperdrives on there. Uh, so that was the main thing we added to them. And we got the higher fleet command limit, which would be nice since we got those battleships and we'll need that. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna get, uh, could do this one here, that'd be helpful. Probably the one we're gonna do. Like, here's a weapon that's available. I don't really like energy 
energy siphon, so yeah. We just really haven't had a lot of stuff available. We've already got plenty of food. Uh, but this is nice, the nutritional plentitude. Because it will increase the growth speed and the happiness. Though it doesn't make sense for orcs to do it. I mean, orcs would want a lot of food. I think that applies to everybody. Well, we need to take a look at our uh, uh, edicts. This reduces crime and increases amenities. Let's just do this one. I think this is the most beneficial for us. Uh, but yeah, let's go and take a look at our edicts. Uh, we're no longer doing battle, so we no longer need to, to be losing our, our moats and our gases and stuff. So we can keep the gases as the fuel, as the fuel but we we'll want to get rid of that one there. And then these ones here are all about... Yeah, we'll just get rid of all of these for now and just kind of stack up on the, the moats. We'll just keep this one here so that we can move faster with all of our ships. We have the energy we could do one of these here. Like, uh, the fear campaign for unity would be nice. Yeah, I think we might do that. Let me see what other ones we currently have available. Yeah, we'll keep all these ones here. The extended shifts. Okay, I'm not saying anything else that we might want to do. Uh, but this is one of the things you can do with those hyper relays. You can actually add modifiers to them. So every system that's in there will get this modifier for any planets that are there. So in this case, you get stability, but it costs exotic gases. And that's for every hyper relay, even ones that aren't giving you the bonus. Uh, but yeah, there's different ones you can do. Here's moats. And they'll resettle fast, faster. Uh, but yeah, we're not gonna do those. Uh, let's do the fear campaign to get more monthly unity, uh, because yeah, we gotta step up this unity, man. It's about 57 months to get this knocked out now. Let's see what it changes here now that we did that. And we knocked off six months. That's helpful. Let's try and speed through this a little bit faster and make sure we're still. Oh damn it! And they're not voting on the thing I want them to. <laughs> up next is now five-year plans. Okay, so we'd be in breach of this. So agri world generator and mining planetary designations gain additional bonuses. I mean, that's helpful. Uh, basic substance living standard is banned. So you can't use that one. We're clearly using that for one of our species, so we'd have to change that if we didn't want to be a violation. So we'd probably oppose this. Though it looks like it's still up at the top there. And it's going to give more uh, strength to the, the workers. They'll get happier, and you get more diplomatic weight from pops. We've got a lot of pops. All right, so this is not not a good one, man. Yeah, not good at all. Where's the one I want? It's like way down here somewhere. Psh, geez, man. Yeah, just can't get uh, that one passed. So what we might want to do is find something that's a little less damaging that we wouldn't be in violation of. Like, this one's not great either. If we supported it and ticked it up to the top, to be helpful. We, even doing this one. Military Readiness Act. We can do this one. Let's support that, but that doesn't go above it. Damn. Hmm. This one might go above it if we supported it. I'm not, I'm not really interested in this one, though. Yeah, we don't really want that one. Hmm. Security. Yeah, there's not going to be any that are going to get ticked up more than that one. All right, well, that's the best we can do, guys. We need more strength in here. We're just not able to, to do enough. We just don't have the power. So it does look like they're going to probably be able to get something passed that we don't want passed. And that we'd be in violation of galactic law. And so in that case, we'd have to we'd have to change it or else face any penalties that you might, might have. Uh, so these guys are done here. Let's go ahead and get them building the hyper relay over here in the Eye of Hawking. Remember, we also still need to add that other battleship here. Which we don't have the allies for right now. Alloy production isn't too bad. We, we gotta step it up, though. We gotta lot, do a lot of things, though. Maybe we should look at buying some pops. Uh, Mount Grub can upgrade. Yeah, buy some pops to... Uh, just get more workers. Uh, we got those reactors. We didn't actually need those. So, we'll have them for later. Whenever we get more stuff that requires uh, higher energy. Yeah, here's another weapon we got available that's mine drone lasers that we don't want to use. We already decided not to use any lasers, really, so we're not getting, we don't need to get any of those. Uh, artisan output, I suppose, is helpful. It's pretty expensive, though. Can increase our encryption. Okay. I guess we'll do the encryption one to see if anything else better comes up. I mean, get that one done really quick, nine months. And encryption, uh, you know, I guess it's helpful, so people can't do the missions against you. Well, yeah, what I was thinking is maybe we should try and buy. We're not really swimming a lot of money right now. 
We try and buy some new pops. We don't want robots. This lithoid is stupidly expensive. Not as expensive as this guy because of the Zionics. We know they're pretty good, although they do have some bad traits here. Bringing them in for the extra research would be worth it. 4100 though, kind of expensive. What about these guys? Of course, lithoids use minerals instead of food. And it's better at producing moats. It's also a good engineer. But it's got some bad traits too. I feel like we should get both of those. Uh, we'll do this one first and... Hmm. They can live on tomb worlds. So let's put them on Orkland because I'm not happy with Orkland's current population. So we'll bring them on to Orkland. Just bring in more pops. I suppose we could sell some stuff so we get that other pop. Uh, so yeah, let's sell some more minerals here. And some more food. And that'll allow us to purchase that other pop that's available. Oh, there's another one here. They don't look like they'll be all that useful. Well, they're very strong. They'll be a good worker. Have the lower habitability. I don't know if we have any planets that they would like. Any savanna plants. I mean, they could live on the arid ones, but you do have to keep in mind that they have the lower habitability there because it's not adaptive. So you probably want it to be a savanna world. I thought we did have a savanna world somewhere. Like one we had just got. Yeah, we got one right here. So we could purchase them, but I feel like the lithoids are more useful. So let's get the lithoid. And they can pretty much live because lithoids get really good habitability. So even though it's got an ocean preference, it could probably live just about anywhere. Maybe not the tomb worlds. I don't know. Maybe we should put them on, if we have any worlds they would really like, we'll just put them there. I feel like we have... Okay, we have no water worlds at all. Okay, but they'd probably still do pretty shoddy on a tomb world, so we won't put them on a tomb world. In fact, they would probably do best in Grok Citadel. So let's buy them there. And we're short on the funds to get this guy here. He's 3600 but I feel like this is a good use of our energy, guys. Uh, try and get more pops. We, that's what we really need is workers at this point. We need more slaves. Uh, over here, so that work doesn't have a job. So what kinds of jobs for them to do? Okay, well we can just go and build another one, but why aren't they doing any of these jobs? Probably because he has to demote. Yeah, I bet he's got a demote. Okay, so is it like a ruler or something? We don't have any ruler jobs. Yeah, that's the problem. I moved a ruler over here. And so there's no jobs available, so he has to demote. So there's nothing we can do there until he demotes. That's fine. He'll eventually do it. It does take a while for rulers to, to demote, though. So the ability to buy mercenaries is now opened up. So that's different than just sending them to attack You know, the good raiding targets. which can only send them out to rivals, which apparently we don't have any rivals. Uh, we should probably fix that and get more influence. Uh, but yeah, this is the higher the mercenaries. So you can hire them. And then make use of them. We don't need to do that. We have our own fleets. I didn't want to show it. But yeah, why are we not rivals with these guys over here? The frogs. Let's rival these guys. So we'll do that. We can't rival them because we got that peace treaty. But yeah, they'll be our next target. Just trying to get through some of the techs and stuff and build up those battleships before we go to war again. And also, you know, we're doing all this. Building all this out. Uh, we can get that other battleship now. So let's go ahead and do that. Doesn't leave any alloys for doing anything else. These guys have already gone down here, but I think we need to keep another one available. So what we can do is get them moving over to the next location where we're going to build these out. Which I suppose would be this way. We also need to go up that way too. But he's closer to here, so we'll have him go over here, and then he'd be moving, I guess, like this. I mean, you could also go down this way, I suppose. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, we'll go this way, and then at least we have the star base there. So this way, and then up to Badlands. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Now, of course, you don't have to do this one by one. You can assign them to multiple ones, but of course, you got to have the alloys to do that, which we never do. Uh, so we've gotten some new edicts available here. So we could... Uh, Basically spent energy to get more consumer goods and more alloys. We we're just talking about needing alloys. We're always buying them, so it probably makes sense 
to get this one. However, it's also going to cost us unity because I don't think we have... Yeah, we're already way over the, the cap currently. And these ones are really expensive. So, because of the uni unity cost, I don't think we will do it. I'm trying to get through some of those traditions. So we're going to do that one. But we can do the Ministry of Production. It's a building. But mainly got it because that one was cheaper. Uh, so you can reduce the Empire size from Pops. This will unlock the Zionic text, but uh, we finally got Gene Tellering available. About time. That took forever, man. So this will give us the Gene modification point and the extra point to, to make use of. So we'll have, I think, three points to, to utilize. Let me, let me take a look. After we select this, then it unlocks the genetic modification feature so that we can actually modify our species and the self-modification so species can modify themselves in order to, uh, you know, better adopt in a hostile environment. I've only seen that happen like a couple times the entire time I've been playing this game, though it's pretty rare. Uh, but yeah, let's go and take a look how many points they'll have. Okay, so we only have one currently. I was thinking we had two. So we'll have two points available once we get that. To modify our species. Remember that other one we got from the relic. So yeah, that'll be nice. When do we when do we get that? Thirty-two months, or excuse me, fifteen months. I was looking at the wrong one. The armor is in thirty-one months. So that'll allow us to change up all our species, and so that'll be really nice. All right, so I think we'll probably get rid of this one. I don't think there's anything else that we want them to do right now. Just looking across all this new territory. Making sure that we got access to all the resources. Can't get that one yet. We don't have the tech. Let's go and disband them. Because we just don't have the alloys to have another one building out the, the relays. We already have two currently, and I think that's going to be the maximum that we can do. They are our space uh, more pirates. I thought we dealt with the pirate problem here. What the hell, man? <laughs> Apparently not. I thought I dealt with it here. Did I not finish building them out? Let me just take a look. Yeah, we got the... They should have been good here. I'm a little surprised they they weren't. That there's still some piracy there. Alright. So clearly we need like... Rather than upgrading this, we could just build a defensive platform. These do increase the piracy, uh, piracy suppression. However, they don't increase the range. That's why I often don't do them. Oh uh, yeah, we can get like one. So we gotta use the alloys for that. And then we'll get our main fleet coming over here and getting these guys destroyed. We'll be able to come much quicker now. So they shouldn't be able to destroy too much stuff before we get over there. And the League of Great Votany is throwing insults at us. Okay. Feeling pretty confident, huh? And we do have another envoy available as well. All right, so we're setting up the spy network in two locations. I think the other one needs to be given to the galactic community. We need, we just need more points here, guys. Cause yeah, we got this damn thing uh, passing, and looks like it's gonna pass. I got no favors to stop it from passing, so that's unfortunate. Of course, it'd be the damn goblins doing it, <laughs> because they're doing it against us. I know they're targeting us here. Governors of our world should be given the freedom necessary to propose and enact sweeping reforms for the betterment of all. Sounds like something goblins would do. We need more points, guys. So let's assign an envoy. This is another 10%. And this will help boost our points a little bit. It's not going to help out with this, though. That's going to pass. We need to stop it from even coming in uh, into place. So uh, no stopping that one, unfortunately, unless other people start changing the way they're voting or we suddenly get a bunch of favors somewhere. So this is what I told you guys about with the, the donations. I mean, it's not much. More likely to get the, the stuff, but I mean, it's it's never anything really exciting. It's like minerals and, or, you know, the 50 influence, which we would have had to give to them right there. So I don't think it's beneficial. Uh, so we've already raided the pirate station. So apparently we got there before they were even able to take the system. And that's because of that new hyper relay system. That's how quick these guys go. So yeah, pretty useful. They just fly over there. We'll go and research that project. Yeah, it really helped us going through here. We're about to get this all through this way as well. I'm just gonna move a lot quicker now. And that's just that one. And we still have low stability here, apparently. Still having some problems. I feel like we should disable this 
probably not the best use of our pops if there's even anybody doing it. And then uh, we'll, we'll keep it going for right now, um, but we'll eventually disable it and instead we'll need to get those precinct houses, I think. So let's see if there's anything else that needs to be built here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the precinct house, guys. To get control of this location. I don't think we did that on the planets. So that was clearly a mistake. We're uh, we're slavers, so we kind of need to have those everywhere. Yeah, I didn't do that here. We actually have some pops here as well, so should probably get another building slot opened up, and then over here we'll get get that as well. Of course, the problem is that a lot of times we can't get those jobs fulfilled because there's nobody to do them on the planet because the uh, there's not enough force there. Another place we can colonize, but again, I feel like we got plenty of planets to, to manage right now. Till we get some of them all built out. Alright, so this guy can now go to the next location, which will just come through here. Set it up right there, and then make sure... Yeah, so he's done here, so let's go to the next one. Build the next hyper relay network. And that's really where all our alloys are currently going at the moment. And this science ship here is done, so let's go ahead and send it back to assist research. Alright, so we got that debris analyzed. And I was hoping we would get this done here, but I suppose what we could do is we can let the tech get researched, but we won't be able to actually... I mean, I suppose you can only adjust one at a time. And this is not even the tech. Alright, so we, we got one month to, to get that. So we need to get something else selected here, and again, there's just nothing all that useful. This allows you to science ships to assist uh, with detection of, of cloaked, you know, space spaceships and stuff. But not all that useful for us. Yeah, we'll just get this one because it's quick, even if we're not colonizing. So we're gonna get that, and then we need to. Uh, I need to get this next tech so we can modify a species. Uh, habitability is always helpful. It's cheap. We might get that. Yeah, I think we'll get that. We do have a lot of soldiers so that increase the naval capacity, which is getting kind of low. Yeah, let's get that one. That one's even quicker. We'll get that one in six months. Because, yeah, we do have a lot of soldiers out there. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and go into our species. And then I always try and base this off of which is the most populous ones, since that's the one that's gonna give you the greatest effect, but also gonna take the longest. So another thing to consider before you research this, like do you wanna finish the thing you're working on and just how long it's gonna take for you to, to get it done. We can go ahead and set them up. Works for first, obviously, you gotta make the adjustment to them. But this also allows you to change the name. So Brienne will finally take their real name and become the goblins. So we'll be able to get, make them the goblins and change up their traits. You know, you can remove negative ones. You can't remove positive ones until you have the genetic uh, resequencing tradition, which I think is the, yeah, the one that's in that one uh, uh, tradition branch that we'll be going. Now that we have this, actually, now that we have that tech, we can get that. Uh, so we'll, we'll pick that here in a minute, uh, but first, Let's get the orcs changed up. They're going to be changing their name. We'll have to do the goblins later. I'll probably do the goblins before I even do them. Because i got to have a name change. But i got to do the orcs first, guys. Um, so let's go ahead and create a template here. So the most efficient thing to do would be to get rid of these negative traits. Get rid of one of them. Probably, I mean, Unity's been a problem, so maybe get rid of that one. Or the Unruly, because we do have the very high Empire size, so that'd be helpful too. So that would be the most efficient thing to do. But our orcs are not going to stop being quarrelsome or unruly. Or at least not now. Uh, we eventually we'll have to uh, start removing negatives, negative ones because we're going to run out of total traits. We can only get one more trait. So eventually when we get more points, we will have to remove one of these. But for roleplay purposes, we're going to keep them both in place for now. And let's instead add rabid readers with our two extra points. Pop growth speed. I think that'd be really useful. And it fits for our orcs too. Yeah, I don't see any other ones that are more fitting. Yeah. I think that's the one we're gonna go for, guys. Um, so let's get the rapid breeders. So we create that template. And then I'll create create a, uh, oh, well, did I not press create template? 
did not up update there we go you know, let it play a sec usually you don't need to it just pops up uh, so then we have them here and we have not turned any of the pops into this new kind of branch of our species in order to do that we actually have to apply it select all 155 of our orcs and it's gonna cost about 10,000 so that's not too bad we can research that in a, in a decent amount of time uh, so yeah let's go and apply the template and then we actually have to research it and stop our tech research and I think we will I think this is more important let's go ahead and do this guys this will allow us to start growing faster so yeah we'll work on that and so you can only do one at a time uh, because of that since it does require the the society research now we're gonna start changing up our pops and stuff and that does mean we can go ahead and pick that one perk that I'm waiting to to get because we needed the engineered evolution so I was gonna pick that and that'll give the research option gene seed purification and give us access to the genetics tradition tree so we just finished domination so basically the next one we're gonna do here will be that one and we'll start working on that as soon as we get in 23 months as soon as we get the ability to do so all right so we want to avoid doing these to ensure that we can you know continue with our traditions i think that's what we need to to focus on for now uh, but unfortunately that is all we're going to be able to do in today's episode glad we got that tech and designed and uh, did our first uh, design for our species next is going to be the goblins guys so work on them uh, also i guess we got to start getting ready for this war we've gotten two battleships in each of these obviously we got some room to get more Alloys is a problem while we're doing this hyper relay system though. So I think we're probably gonna leave it as is. Apparently our battleships already have some some updates. Did we just get a new tech? Because we have those set to automatically update. Oh, you know what? They probably got the yeah, that's right. They got the reactors that they didn't really need. So we are gonna let them update. Even though it's kind of expensive. Because they'll speed them up slightly, and they're gonna be what's slowing down our whole fleet. So just a little bit faster would be nice. Though with the hybrid relay system, it's less of a problem uh, since we've gotten that built out across our empire. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching.